Hi, welcome back to Happy Apple Core Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own red pepper flakes. In this bowl, I have um, a whole bunch of red ember cayenne peppers that I grew in my greenhouse this summer, and they've already been washed. You guys, this could not be any more simple. You just put your clean peppers right onto your dehydrator. And put your lid on and then you're gonna crank the heat up all the way to the top so my dehydrator goes to um, 155 I'm gonna turn it all the way up to 155 it's gonna take probably 24 hours for them to become like completely bone dry I'm gonna go ahead and get this turned on and I'll see you back here in 24 hours for the last and final step and you will be amazed at how easy this is these peppers grow almost everywhere. I can even grow them here in zone 8B. I do have to put them in the greenhouse, but they do beautifully. And some people just grow them out in their garden in the, in the wide open and they do fine. Um, I just prefer to do them in the greenhouse, but you don't have to if you don't want to. These, you know, our spices are getting so expensive. You guys know the inflation that's going on and spices in general are expensive. <clears throat> so this is a really great way or you know, a $1 pack of seeds, and you can have a year supply of your own fresh red pepper flakes. So I'll see you guys back in a minute. Peppers are finally dry, and I have a glass container here where I collect them, and there is a desiccant package inside just to be on the safe side. And really all there is to it now is just to pop the lid off. Oops, closer to the top would be better. And then it's up to you if you want to put all of the seeds in or just some of them. I tend to kind of do about half and half. I don't need all of the seeds in there. And then you put it in your mortar and just grind them up. And that's what they look like all nice and flaky. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'm gonna go ahead and get these wrapped up. I told you guys that was easy, right? Easiest way to make your own red pepper flakes. And they'll be shelf stable for a super long time, at least a year. And if you keep that desiccant package in there, it'll make sure that it doesn't get any moisture uh, to reconstitute your herbs. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you guys have a great day and I will be seeing you all soon. Bye.